Welcome back to Magic Gathering, Strad and Bava. We are in the last round of this Popper Daily event. Uh, we lost a few minutes uh, finishing up a Soul Forge game. I really wanted to try out. So, uh, we'll see here. He can take his time. Um, he says he's in a Hearthstone game, so he's going to take his time as well. Which is no problem, so we'll just pause until we are both ready to go. Alright, and here we go. Um, we'll just hit him with a turn one lava spike and pass. Now let's see what he might be playing. Yeah. How do you spell his name though? D underscore T dash T underscore B. Legacy, 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 vintage, legacy, manual, stretch, 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 stretch. Huh. Okay. Probably affinity. That's interesting. That should be fine for us, really. Um, we'll curse him. We'll have double curse out, which should be fine. We can probably race affinity. Whatever he's got going. Um, so I think maybe we just Searing Blaze this Frogmite and then Needle Drop. Or we just curse him again. But keeping him off of uh, these artifacts seems pretty good, actually. <clears throat> we can Needle Drop on his turn. That's fine, too. If it's actually an Affinity guy we can kill, so that's good. Curse gonna do a little work. We've got just a little bit of damage here. Slowing him down off of affinity as much as uh, affinity for artifacts as much as possible. It's pretty important, so I sort of prioritize killing that frog might stops him from getting a mirror enforcer this turn. Uh, we can needle drop now. Draw a mountain. It's not that exciting. Um, so we'll play curse and you. We'll leave bolt up. He's blasting us. You're not going to win the burn game, my friend. <clears throat> Down to nine. Six, two, dead. Okay. Well. Might as well get him with the fire blast, even though the curses would have gotten him. Um, well, there we go. Smash the smithereens. Molten rain. Hmm. I'm not sure about molten rain. Flame rift. Martyr. Martyr's pretty good. He doesn't really have flying creatures in there. So I think smashing and martyring could be okay. I feel like the Marauders probably aren't awesome in this matchup. But he brings in, for the most part, probably Hydroblasts. He may. He may not. Pyroblast is more common, which doesn't help him very much. Depends how much blue he has in his list. But anyway, we keep trying to race, and we have Smash. We definitely bring in Smash. I think maybe we take out Searing Blaze, because the only guy it helps against is... Well, it does help against Atog. And it does get those early frog mites, which I quite like. Uh, so it's possible we take out the Needle Drops. And bring in the Smashes.
Martyr can be pretty sweet. <clears throat> Take out that other needle. No, no, we can't do that. Needle drop's just a better top deck. And if we're leaving all the curses in, um, it's live most of the time. More than not. So we have the smash, which I feel pretty good about. Uh, we're hoping he doesn't bring in circles of protection, because that's ugly for us. Um, all right, we're going to have to try and draw into some land, but we're going to keep this. He moves to six. He moves to five. He moves to four. All right, ouch. Land, sweet. All right. If he's stuck on land, then we will smash his Great Furnace. And we'll probably just take the 4-0 if that happens. Yeah, land issues. There's a prism. I don't know if I want to blow up his land or not now. Um, I guess I can just keep this back for an actual threat. Get Curse online early. Seems good. See what he does. I want more information about what he's got in his hand. He could have a lot of land. Yeah, he's got plenty of land. We don't want to destroy it. There's a Thought Cast. Springleaf Drum. Um, Alright, so we keep Smash for threats. I suppose. I kind of want to keep this land back for Searing Blaze, which means that we incinerate him. All right. We'll hold on to this land for now, and we'll keep up stuff. He's blasting us. Fair enough. Still not outracing us. Uh, we'll yield to that. He mulled the four and we top deck like a champ, so I feel like we're doing pretty well here. Blue green is researching. He gets to draw a lot of cards, so that's something. Bins the citadel. There's a frog mite. Um I mean, we can smash the Frogmite, but we really want to just blow it up. So we incinerate him. We do that. He has another Perilous Research, and I'm sad. And we Hydro Blast it. Of course he does. He does have Hydro Blast then. All right. He doesn't have double red open now, so we'll chain lightning him. He can't turn it back on us. Um, what do we have? Do we have lethal? One, two, three, four, six, seven. Yep, we do. Minus more hydro blasts or other counters. We'll see. Which I expect you would counter the smash. Yeah, we take two, we're down to 14 Marauders. <clears throat> um, so we do the smash and we do the bolt, and he's dead either way. gonna sit back for now. This curse is gonna kill him if I don't do anything. I don't want to sacrifice two mountains to this fire blast if I don't have to. But he knows if he doesn't win, his curse wins. So that'll be that. Alright. Good games. Yeah. So I'm to four, we took him down. But uh 
What are you gonna do? Searing Blaze. Neil Drop. Earth Bowl. Some good stuff coming in. So we went 4 0 in this daily event with Burn. They said it couldn't be done. Actually, nobody said that, but um, it almost felt like an uphill battle from the beginning. Um, theoretically, in theory, it did. But we didn't run across White Weenie in its life gain. We didn't run across Delver. Um, we did run across NBC, and we beat it. Even playing a Celtic Marauders on turn three with the possibility of getting tendrils, um, it worked out just fine. So yeah, I'm really happy with the way this daily event went. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll check out the uh, list real quick. It's uh, Maguire Eight's uh, list. I net decked it. Um, it seems like a really strong list, though. I like the like the layout of it. Um, yeah, and it worked great. Super happy with it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching it. And um, yeah, I'll catch you next time. I'm Baba, signing off.